Chalene. Um, haven't posted in like two weeks. I have been reading. Um, right now I've got bronchitis and an ear infection, so no makeup on. This is just me. Um, I did want to tell you what I had read. So let's get started. I did read, let's see, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. Um, which is Safari, S Safi and Iz Izut, Izut, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. They have a habit of finding trouble. After clashing with a powerful um, guildmist and his ruthless blood witch, the friends are forced to flee their home. They end up in a lot of trouble. They're just, I don't know, I couldn't get into this book as much as I wanted to. Um, I found the book slow and boring in parts. Um, I probably will read the next book after this, hoping it'll pick up a little bit. Um, it picked up three quarters of the way through the book, and then it really held my interest. So I liked the ending. Um, other than that, yeah, it, it's been hyped. So I don't know if that's the problem or if I'm getting burnt out with some of the young adult books. So, yeah, that's that was the first one that I read. And then I read um, I've Got You Under My Skin by Mary, Higgs, by Mary Higgins Clark. I love her books. I rated this a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, Lori's husband was murdered in front of their 3-year-old um, son while at a playground. And so, um, Timmy kept saying that the blue-eyed Blue eyes killed his daddy, so they're looking for someone with blue eyes. Meanwhile, Lori is a producer of a true crime show on TV, and um, of cold cases. And the series starts out with a 20-year-old um, unsolved case: the murder of Betsy Powell, a socialite who was found suffocated in her bed after a graduation. So, while this was going on, three best friends. Um, the socialite's daughter and her three best friends had the graduation party at their house and the mother had been found the next morning dead, suffocated. Um, each one had a secret and a motive for wanting Betsy dead. <coughs> um, I had a small suspicion of who had killed Betsy. And this is the first book of the Suspicion series, even though if you go online it'll say it's, um, it's just not, but this is the first book. And, yeah, I recommend this. I'm a big Mary Higgins Clark fan. And then the second book to this is called The Cinderella Murder, and I gave this a 4.5 stars. Um... Again, Lori has her um, suspicion, her under suspicion pilot show, the t the TV show. Since from the first book, that show was a successful on TV show. <coughs> she starts a new case called the Cinderella Murder. The Cinderella Murder is Susan Dempsey was um, a talented UCLA student. And she was found dead, and it's been unresolved for years. So, um, Lori's supposed to um, solve this case on her TV show. So, um, this Susan was supposed to show up for an, um, an acting audition for an up-and-coming director. And they don't know if she even made it to the audition. Um, she had a fight with one of her roommates right before she did it, so they weren't sure if the roommate did it. Um, other suspects were another roommate and a boyfriend. Um, I enjoy how they go about researching and solving the mysteries, and of course this one was solved, and um, I rated this a 4.5, and this is the second book of the series. And, um... Yeah, I liked this one, too. So, then the next book 
is the third book of the series called All Dressed in White. I don't have um, a picture of the cover, but it's called All Dressed in White by Mary Higgins Clark. And it's book three, and I received that one from Nat Galley, and I gave that a four out of five stars. Um, Amanda Pierce was supposed to get married five years ago to her college sweetheart in Palm Beach. She ends up missing, <coughs> and Lori, behind the scenes of her Under Suspicion TV series, um, realizes it's a great cold case to solve. So she goes with her team to Palm Beach and recreates what happens, and she meets Amanda's jealous sister, playboy groomsman, Amanda's fiancé, who's now married to one of her bridesmaids. And um, I had the person who caused her disappearance down to two people, and I was right on one of them. I enjoyed this and how they wrapped up this series. <coughs> and then the next book that I read is number 15 of a series called the Chocoholic Mystery Series. And this is The Chocolate Falcon Fraud by Joanna Caro. I've been reading her books since the very beginning. They're a cozy mystery. They're just a fun, fast-paced book. Um, this is I rated this a 3 out of 5 stars. Um, the Warner Pier Tourism Board is having a film festival with the Maltese Falcon, and, and Lee is the main character, and her Aunt Nettie are preparing chocolate falcon, falcons in their chocolate shop. So Lee's ex-stepson, Jeff, comes to town in trouble and snares. And um, I've always enjoyed this series, and they're kind of predictable on what happens, um, but I like the town setting and the people that live in it. So... That's it for now. I'm getting ready to start another book this from the library. Um, it's a new one. I can't remember the title. I don't have it right here in front of me. But um, I hope that you're all doing well and staying well because the sickness is going all over the place. But <clears throat> I hope you're you're all doing well and getting a lot of reading done. Talk to you later. Bye.